Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we go back to the Vive Latino show by The Warning. That happened in March. I think it was St. Patty's Day this year. And we're going to watch them do Hell You Call a Dream and Martirio. This is approaching the end of the show. It was kind of a short set anyway. It was only about 48 minutes or so. A little bit short for them. This is our second to last two-song segment. We love hearing Martirio every time. It's an epic tune. Hell You Call a Dream. You know, it's funny. It occurs to me we really haven't heard that much uh, lately. So this show, it started off a little wobbly, but got better quickly. And it wasn't the music that was wobbly. It was the fact that they didn't have a sound check and the sound levels were everywhere and discombobulating and problem solving on the fly while you're performing is always interesting. <laughs> you know, but, but they have settled into a nice groove. So I expect these two will be uh, good listens. Adrian, do you have anything you want to mention up ahead? I'm just looking forward to seeing the rest of the Viva Latino. Okay, so here we go with Hell You Call a Dream. Como les comentábamos, estamos trabajando en música nueva. Ya hemos sacado cuatro sencillos, de los cuales van a formar parte de nuestro álbum nuevo, que se llama Keep Me Fed. ¡Y sale en junio! Estamos muy felices de haber podido grabar este álbum en casa también. Nosotros somos de Monterrey. Y este último sencillo que sacamos se llama Hell You Call a Dream. Lots of wind and fog, I noticed, or at least a good amount of it. And Donnie is just fierce. In this yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's pretty good. She puts on the big faces and the yeah. girls. <laughs> yeah. There's a little drama. It's the visual element again, mm -hmm. right? which uh, which I think always helps with the songs. Uh, I thought I heard a keyboard 
up until the other instruments came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the backing track was prominent on that one. It sounds like things have smoothed out indeed because I didn't hear any major technical issues going on there. And uh, again, a very well carried out song, some pretty good passion in there. Um, I like how they kind of add the extra visual elements <laughs> to each of their yeah. songs when they can. Okay, so with that, why don't we take a look now at Martirio. se llama Martirio A veces las cosas
que viva The Warning, que viva la diversidad de la música, pero hoy me parece un acto futurista, una banda como The Warning tocando aquí y el aplauso es para el Vive Latino. Gracias. I, I guess I didn't catch the guy's name. I was wondering who he was, the other guitar. And uh, for a while, I was wondering what he was playing. But then I could hear towards the end, he was playing some lead licks. It was just very hard to hear him. Yeah, he wasn't in the mix at all when he came out, which is too bad. I was wondering where the solo was, and I realized he was probably playing it. And it just, it wasn't hooked up yet, or, or his volume was way down. It took them a while to fix that. <laughs> so yeah. that's unfortunate. He sounded like a pretty good guitar player. His name is Jay De La Cueva. He is a Mexican model and actor. He is also a bassist and a drummer and a guitarist and a pianist So and a songwriter. Yeah, okay. He fronts Moderado, and that is a band that they opened for at one point. Perhaps some people have some more insight that they can share with us below on the connection here. I did have somewhere in my notes that the warning opened for Moderato. Well, the guy sounds like a jack of all trades. I mean, ooh, a model, actor, musician. Yeah, yeah good for him. Good work yeah, if you can get it. it. Yeah, if you could pull it off. I mean, that's awesome. So, yeah, apparently the op uh, warning opened for Moderato on January 25, 2020, so not too long before the pandemic began. So, as a matter of fact, I wanted to take a look at that show at some point. So, okay, very interesting. So, there's a full circle moment there. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't really get to hear what he was playing until near the end of the song, but uh, sounded very good. What was that? Was that another Explorer by any chance? What is flying that? V, that's what it is. I think Gibson makes Flying V guitars. Well, that would make sense, um, you know, because, of course, Gibson makes the Explorer. Yeah, okay. Well, good to know. I would love to get some... Uh, translation for some of what Jay said at the end and maybe what Danny said at the beginning. Okay, this this is leaving just two songs. Uh, we're going to do one more segment for this show and then it's done. Uh, meanwhile, we have started Pal Norte. Take a look. I'll put it in the cards here so it should wind up in our description for this video. The sound in that one is actually a little bit better than this one and it's a nighttime show. So there's some key differences. Plus a couple extra songs. Why don't you let us know what you thought of this set of songs? And what you think of the concert so far. If you were there, let us know, of course. And if you have other suggestions, please let us know about those. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us on this, and we will catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.